Hey, what's up? Do you know how expensive robot vacuum cleaners differ from the budget ones? Mostly because of their navigation. The flagship robot vacuum cleaners have smart LiDAR or camera navigation. The other features are about the same as the budget robot vacuum cleaners. In this video we will talk about Air Robot P10. It is about 4 times cheaper than other popular robot vacuum cleaners in 2021. The price is only $125. However, it has a strong suction power 2600 Pascal, anti-collision and anti-drop technologies 2600 mAh battery and 140 minutes of cleaning time, a different cleaning modes, a large 510 ml dust box, and up control. Ok, let's do unboxing and a look at design of the new robot vacuum cleaner. After that, we will do a cleaning test. What is the most important thing about any vacuum cleaner? Of course, cleaning efficiency. We will check it out in this video. You know, the box of Air Robot P10 is not very big. It means that the robot vacuum cleaner should also be compact. There is only a company logo and model name of the product on the box. Inside the box we have a robot vacuum cleaner itself, charging dock, remote control, power adapter, cleaning tool, user manual and quick start guide. The side brushes, dustbin and filter are already inside a robot vacuum cleaner. As I said, the new robot vacuum cleaner is really compact. However, the dustbin is still very big. We will talk about it a little later. The dimensions of Air Robot P10 are 310 by 310 by 65 mm. The weight is 2485 grams. So the robot vacuum cleaner is much thinner than its competitors, which makes it easy to glide under the furniture. That's very good. There is only one physical button at the top. You can press it once to start pose a cleaning. If you press and hold this button, then robot vacuum cleaner returns to charging dock. You can also press and hold the button for about 8 seconds to reset Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi reset. Please follow the instructions shown on the app to connect the robot to your phone. You know, Air Robot P10 is a budget robot vacuum cleaner, but it has many different sensors, such as auto recharging sensor, wall sensor, and anti-collision sensor. They are located on the front. There is also a bumper to cushion the impact on the walls and furniture. Another feature of this robot vacuum cleaner is a drop-saving technology to avoid falls from the steps. There are cliff sensors for that at the bottom. We can also see charging contacts, two side brushes and main brush, as well as two main wheels and omnidirectional wheel at the bottom of the robot vacuum cleaner. The main brush is removable, so you can clean it from the hair and other debris. By the way, the battery is located under this sticker. Let's see what's inside. To be honest, I don't think the battery is removable. However, if something happens to it, a master can fix or replace the battery. Finally, let's take a look at dustbin. It is located on the back of the robot vacuum cleaner. You just need to push this button and pull on. As I already said, a dustbin has a capacity of 510 milliliters. It is really big for such compact robot vacuum cleaner. There is a primary filter and advanced HEPA filter in the dustbin. By the way, I didn't tell you that, but I think you have already guessed that the robot vacuum cleaner doesn't have mopping function. From other side, Air Robot P10 has a charging dock and auto recharge function. When the battery of a robot vacuum cleaner is low, it automatically returns to the charging dock and starts charging. The charging dock has power indicator, adapter port, and charging contacts. There is also a big signal emission area, so the robot vacuum cleaner quickly and easily finds a charging base. A robot P10 has up control, and we will talk about the application a little later. But also you can control the robot vacuum cleaner with remote control. As you can see, there is a button to start post cleaning, navigation buttons, Wi-Fi connection, return to charging dock, power level adjustment, spot cleaning, spiral cleaning, edge cleaning, and switch to voice button. By the way, a robot vacuum cleaner supports four languages, including the app and the voice prompts, such as English, Germany, Chinese, and Russian. Now let's take a look at the app control. The application for this robot vacuum cleaner is called Tuya Smart. By the way, I have already tested some products with this app. I think it was a security camera. After installing the app, we need to log in and add a new device. Nothing complicated here, just follow the instructions on the screen. So in the app we can see a map of the room. In fact, this is a useless function, because the map is not accurate. In addition, you cannot choose on the map where to start cleaning, and you cannot set restricted zones. Under the map, there is the time of the last cleaning, remaining battery level and cleaning area. 
There is a button to start cleaning at the bottom, as well as standby, automatic cleaning, hatch cleaning, fixed point cleaning, local cleaning, recharge, manual control and settings. In the settings menu we can change a section power from quiet, normal, strong and max. We can also reset a brush and filter lives. If you cannot find a robot vacuum cleaner at home, press the button, look in for machines, and the vacuum cleaner will tell you where it is. I'm here. There is also a schedule function in the settings menu. And that's all you can do in the app. By the way, Air Robot P10 also has Alexa and Google Assistant control. Ok, before cleaning test, I want to check the noise level of the robot vacuum cleaner. As you can see, the noise level in a quiet mode is 47 dB. The suction power in a quiet mode is 600 Pascal. It's the suction power in normal mode is 1000 Pascal, and the noise level is 53 dB. Then we have a strong suction mode with a power of 1500 Pascal, and the noise level is 57 dB. The most powerful suction mode is max, with 2600 Pascal, and the noise level in this mode is 60 dB. Ok, now let's do the cleaning test. So we have exactly 100 grams of debris, and I will scud at it on the floor. Now I start a robot vacuum cleaner in spot cleaning mode. The vacuum cleaner collected 95 grams of debris. The efficiency of cleaning is 95%. I think it is a good result for the budget robot vacuum cleaner. You know, I didn't expect much from Air Robot P10 vacuum cleaner, because it is only $120. However, it has many features, such as compact size, a good build quality and large dustbin, anti-collision and anti-drop sensors, control options by remote control, application on smartphone and even Alexa and Google Assistant. For cleaning modes, such as automatic, edge, spot and zigzag, auto return to charging dock and strong suction power. From other side, because it is a budget robot vacuum cleaner, it doesn't have smart navigation, such as LiDAR or camera, and uh, there is no mopping function. In general, I think Air Robot P10 is a good vacuum cleaner for everyday cleaning. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.